So recently the heated seat in the car has failed. So what would happen is you'd switch it on and it would warm up and then after a little while it would just go off again. Then it wouldn't let you switch it on again unless you restarted the car. So rather than spending hundreds of pounds at BMW getting that fixed, I bought one of these 12 volt heated seat covers. And it's a no-name brand Chinese one and it's it's actually quite good after I made a modification. I had a temperature controller inside it which is basically one of those uh, thermal cutout devices. Uh, in this case it's one that went off at quite a low temperature so it'd warm up and then once it got warm it'd switch off again for quite a while and it'd basically get cold again. Uh, it's quite useless. So all I did was I located the temperature controller, made a cut cut in the back and then removed it and then just uh, reconnected the wire so it's not actually got a temperature controller. And I've had this thing on for half an hour at a time and it doesn't even overheat. Without the temperature controller it's just fine. Uh, the, I think it's using a PTC material uh, in the heating element so it means that the hotter it gets the less power it consumes until it eventually just reaches some sort of uh, equilibrium. Uh, and you can kind of see that there's just the heating element going back and forward inside. <coughs> so what I did was to show how much power it consumes, I just, um, all I've done to it is put this connector on here so I can put a watt meter in line. And these watt meters are absolute crap. This one is a few volts off so the power reading is artificially high. So I'm going to plug this in and try and get a power reading of how much power it draws. So we'll switch the car on and plug this in. So that's 60 watts. Uh, and I reckon the battery is actually about 13.1 rather than 14.1. This is a whole volt out. So when the seat is cold it does draw a bit more power but uh, after a while it drops and it usually settles at about uh, 40 watts and that's quite good, it keeps me nice and warm. This is on the high heat setting so it's showing 56 watts just now and if I turn that down to low it's 48.6 watts so I just keep it on high all the time and it's not a problem at all and it's really good, it works uh, pretty well. The quality of the materials isn't fantastic, it only costs £10, but uh, for £10 it gets warmer than the original seats and obviously it's better quality and more reliable than anything BMW could make. Well, better quality in the terms of its reliability, it's probably more reliable. It's not got a stupid computer to control it or anything like that. Uh, so yeah, it's... It's, uh, it's pretty good, I'm reasonably happy with it. It's not the tidiest solution, but um, it's certainly cheap, and that's what attracted me to it. And it works really quite good. The only other criticism I would give is it's actually set up for cars where the steering wheel is on the wrong side. So I have to put the cable around the back, uh, but still there's enough length. Um, well, if you have a lighter socket just uh, in the middle but most cars don't so in that case the cable wouldn't actually be long enough because most cars have uh, the socket away up up the front so for cars in the UK this would be good for a passenger or you would have to uh, you have to turn it around the other way and then it just doesn't sit properly you actually have to turn it around upside down uh, and that's just not so good but you can always Extend the cable, uh, just solder on a longer cable. Uh, but yeah, I'm really happy with it. I just wouldn't leave it plugged in all the time, that's the only thing. <laughs>